Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to understand about middleware and middleware in .NET Core Web API. So, what is middleware? Middleware are software component that are assembled into an application pipeline to handle request and response. Each component chooses whether to pass the request on the on to the next component in the pipeline and can perform certain action before and after the next component is invoked in the pipeline. Request delegates are used to build the request pipeline. The request delegate handles each HTTP request. Each piece of middleware in ASP.NET Core is an object and each piece has very specific focused and limited role. Ultimately, we need many pieces of middleware for the application to behave appropriately. So, you can see in this diagram, one request is coming. So, in middleware 1, it modifying the request and doing some logic and invoking the next middleware 2. So, it is going to again middleware 3, where it is running through the app code and again it's coming to middleware 3, middleware 2 and middleware 1 and responding to the client. Guys, middleware is an important topic in terms of a clean architecture and in terms of interview purpose also. So please be concerned. So next we are going to code in our .NET Core, .NET Core 6.0 Web API. Before starting the practical guys, if you are new to my, new to my channel, please hit the like button. Subscribe the channel for future notification. So let's get started. So I am using Visual Studio 2022. Let's create a project. I am creating ASP.NET Core Web API. Next. Middleware demo, the project name. After this session, I am going to keep the source code and give the Google Drive link on video description so you can download and check it out. So I remove the HTTPS configuration and I keep use controller and open API which is Swagger. Let's click on create. So it will take few seconds or few minutes to create our So our application is created. Hit the run button, you can see the green play icon, click on this. Guys, here I am going to tell you directly using the program.cs file because in .NET Core 6.0 there is no startup class. We have to do everything on program.cs. So you can see our currently upon web API is running. So if I am going to keep like this, this open port, nothing is coming. So let's see our middleware. So you can see here app.useswagger, useswagger UI, use authorization, map controller base, these are system defined middleware, which is invoking before the application dot run. Now I am going to write one more custom middleware here to response whenever I am hitting the response button, it will give me the response, right? So here I am going to write app.run in extension method of app run, await context of response. So here dear reader, from middleware. Next, run the application now. So, this is one middleware we injected in our program.cs file using app.run extension method. So, our application got run. So, let's see this URL. So, you can see hello, dear readers from middleware, this is coming from here. So here we are directly writing our program 
the line of code inside our program.cs file. But in, in real life programming, it's not happen. We must write inside a separate class. So I'm going to create one more folder here, our folder. Medial OER services. So in this Medial OER services, I'm going to add a class which is name is custom Medial OER. Whenever we are going to create Medial OER, we need to inherit I Medial OER interface. Okay, and it is asking for the implementation. So implement interface. So it got implemented. Save the application. Next, we are going to create one more class, which is public static class with no implementation. Here we are using builder.eg middle layer, custom middle layer. We are using this middle layer. Next, we will go to program.cs file. Here we need to ask, inject the service. So to inject service, builder.service.r and for now I am using transient I am going to inject this service custom middleware so it will require a huge statement okay next here I am going to use my middleware so my middleware is this one you can see huge class this I application builder method. So I'm going to write here app dot use that method name. In this method, I'm not throwing anything. So you can see invoke async. It is throwing access. So I'm now I'm going to move to this part. I don't need because I'm going to external file or external class file. So I'm going to throw that one here. So it read out So I think it will go async. So from run giving here custom middle layer. So let's run the application now. So you can see hello dear reader from custom middle layer. Right? So in this way, we can implement our custom middle layer inside our .NET Core Web API 6.0. Guys, if you like this video, hit the like. Give me your suggestion and comment in the comment box. And please share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.